about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Mark chapter 1, 38. We are reading down to 45. Listen, it says, And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns that I may preach there also, for there came I forth. 39. And he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and cast out devils. Did you see that? Next verse, please. And there came a leper beseeching him and kneeling down to him, just like many of you have come, to find out, Lord, is this how my life will end? Or do you have another plan? Here's his reply to you. He's saying, he kneeling down to him and saying unto him, if thou will, thou can make me clean in other words i know you have the ability i just need to verify your willingness and this is what jesus says 41 and jesus moved with compassion put forth his hand and touched him and said unto him read on i will be thou clean i will be thou clean when you read from verse 45 down to 45 you will see that the man was healed so miracles are languages this is what jesus is saying through the miracle i will i will you know that i am but it's important for you to know that i will do it you know i can make you blessed but it's another thing for you to believe i will do it the Bible says, what things soever thou, des thou desire. He said, when thou prayest, believest that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. Miracles are a language. James 1.17 James 1.17 Shalabakotaya I tell you, the presence of God is so strong. I'm just seeing a fog outside. I'm not even seeing people. That's all I'm seeing, like a fog, thick fog. All the overflows. That's what I'm seeing outside. And I believe that that glory is doing something in people. Hmm. No matter where you are, whether you are sitting in the gutter, on the fence, on a tree, wherever, it truly does not matter. Now, I know that it's difficult to believe that because you're outside. You think you are not seeing me directly. It's not necessary. James 1 17 everyone please read one to read every good gift uh-huh and every perfect gift is from above can mean anywhere so God clarifies coming down from who because there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places so God says no so so you are not confused that I just said above it comes down from the father of light in whom there is no variableness neither shadow of turning he won't say this today and do this tomorrow so every miracle you will receive some of you have already received is a language you must not only experience it but you must discern the language god is saying look my son my daughter this dear family no matter how much you have cried and all of that he's telling you number one that know this because there are many of us here who are angry at god right now 
God, you are the cause of my problems. God, you are the one who has not done this and that. God is saying to tell you through the miracle that you will receive that he is not the author of pain. He is not the author of the closed door. Say amen. The second language that miracles speak the language of God spoken through miracles. Number two, that I am a loving, compassionate, and merciful God. The second language of God as revealed through miracles is that I am a loving, compassionate, and merciful God. Matthew 35 verse 36. The love of God is a revelation that we must have. Listen, listen, listen. The little time I have walked with God, I have been amazed. I know that preachers have preached about the love of God. I have also read about it. But I am amazed at the love of God for me. My revelation of the love of God only climaxes at the substitutionary work of Christ. But there are things God has done here and now in my life that makes me know beyond the shadow of a doubt that God loves me. And I, I'm not just speaking about general things. Oh, you are breathing, you are standing, you are not in the mortuary. All those things are general things that don't give personal revelations. I have seen God arise to do things in my life that I, I, I sit back sometimes and I fight tears. The love of God is a revelation that sponsors the release of power. The love of God. His compassion. Compassion is an adjective that qualifies love. It, it attempts to add emotions to love. When you add emotions to love, it becomes compassion. The expression of it revealed. Many times in scripture, you see the Lord moved with compassion. Matthew 30. 35 verse 36 okay we can't have it projected Matthew 35 36 sorry let me just open it here so that we'll hurry up Oh, I think that's a mistake. I said 35. Forgive me. Let's go to First John. First John 4 19. I think I skipped scripture. I made a mistake there. Pardon me. It was a revelation of the compassion of Jesus. First John 4. Are we there? 19. Please let's read. Let's hurry up because of time. One to read, everybody. We love him because he did what who first loved us the bible says god had commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners right in due season christ died for us we love him because so what we are giving to him as love is only a reflection of his benevolence how that he gave it to us psalms 145 i found a very interesting scripture you'd want to listen to psalm 145 8 and 9 psalms 145 8 and 9 are we there psalms it says the Lord is gracious and full of what? Say it after me, full of compassion. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He says slow to anger. The word there is patience. The New Testament calls it long suffering. Slow to anger and of great mercy. In fact, NIV says rich in love. Rich in love. 
the Lord is gracious and full of compassion slow to anger and of great mercy verse 9 the Lord is good to how many the Lord is good to he says and his tender mercies are over all his works so the condition to qualify for God's mercy is that you are created by him the moment you are God's creation you qualify powerful revelation mm. so regardless of what the cause of the sickness regardless of what the cause of the challenge is are we together now whether it was your fault whether it was carelessness it was a mistake regardless of what it is the Bible says in God's economy there is a system where his mercy can work you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. do you know why we need mercy because there are people here the challenges that you are facing right now in your life there are some of us the challenges are self-inflicted it, it, it was it was certain carelessness that gave room to demons they advise you not to sell the house you were looking for money immediately you sold the house and now you are houseless are we together that's carelessness but the mercy of God are we together you know sometimes we feel so bad and we feel can God show me mercy and rewind the hands of time and bring me out again the mercy of God was expressed in the parable of the prodigal son the Bible says the boy looked he was eating with pigs and says come the Bible says he came to himself and said how many hired servants have enough to eat in my father's house and I am here you know paraphrasing eating with pigs he said I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven and I am not even worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants the Bible says while he was afar off the moment the father saw him he ran to him put the signet ring he didn't even say stupid boy you are finally back never discussed as as far as is recorded in scripture never discussed the only thing the father said is my son was once was lost but now he's found i prophesy to someone here those who are concluding against you because the challenges in your life were caused by you you know it was your fault there is still a bailout system in God's economy it's called the mercy of God tonight may that mercy reach you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ miracles are a revelation by God that he can give men a second chance again God does not just have a second chance as many chances as your sincerity can receive the Bible says he's slow to anger slow to anger the distance between where he is and his judgment he slowed it down to give you room to tap into his mercy there is no mercy in the realm of the spirit mercy is only in this realm that's why you cannot pray for Satan to repent mercy is only a function of time and only those who walk with time can experience his mercy so he tied mercy to the morning he says your mercies are new every morning every 24 hours is renewed again ah, so that he showed you yesterday does not mean he cannot show you tomorrow god is a merciful god are you hearing what i'm saying now there are families that are probably damaged here because of carelessness there are many families that are in financial bankruptcy they didn't listen when they would have listened there are many things we are humans is saying is, is a popular saying it says to air is human is that true all kinds of self-inflicted things but tonight there is a system in God I know you have even concluded yourself but there is a system after Samson's hair was taken away and they were using him to mock God in the temple they thought they plucked his eyes and the hair would never grow back again 
and Samson lifted up his voice to the God who was full of compassion and all of a sudden his strength returned and the Bible says he killed more people in his death I'm speaking to someone here they've not seen speed yet till you experience the mercy of God I know that for weeks now you've not been yourself but God is about to show you mercy and when he shows you mercy listen with mercy comes restoration naturally it's a sequence that follows don't sit down meditating on what you did wrong what you did right there is a provision for the mercy of God that's the language of a miracle so if when you were living in the world you got yourself involved with all kinds of things and then you had HIV now you are born again and you love God does God have to leave you like that to die no sir no sir no sir every time sin was cured sickness followed if God has forgiven you your sin that is spiritual he should be able to heal HIV do you know there are too many people who believe things are not working in their life because of certain things that have happened it's a different thing if you're a rebel and your heart is not broken and contrite because the mercy of God only follows and, and is applicable to those who have a broken and a contrite heart rebels never experience the mercy of God so when your heart is broken and contrite you're about to receive something that will change you hallelujah I was supposed to go for the job interview but I stayed overnight playing games and I slept I woke up by 10 the interview was over I've missed the job now the mercy of God can still speak for you I told you mercy comes with restoration if you were supposed to be employed three years ago even if they employ you now it's not restoration it's just advancement God must find a way of bringing the balance of three years so that when they check the graph of your life they don't see where the lag was that's restoration restoration is not progress restoration is an is an acceleration to catch up with where you would have been had the obstacle not come let's hurry up number three the third language that miracles speak signs and wonders now this is very important the third thing God is speaking tonight and always through miracles is I desire that you trust me enough to follow me wholly. When God brings miracles, he reveals his sovereignty, not just his love. So he tells you that I am a God of love and compassion, but I am also mighty. I calm the sea, I calm your life. I am worthy of your trust. I am worthy of your handing over your entire life to me listen i am convinced that any man who is afraid of handing over the management of his life now listen it's a very different ball game to be born again and it's another ball game entirely to hand over the management of your life to god there are many people who are born again you are praying in tongues but you have not handed over the management of your life to god Come and learn of me, he says. Take upon me. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When it is killing you, it's not of God. Hallelujah. Is God dependable enough for you to, sack, to hand over your whole marriage to him? Is God dependable enough for you to hand over your finances to him and his ways? Is God dependable enough for you to hand over your life with him? Do you know when you see people carry talisman, carry charm, carry arrow and all these things they move around with to aid protection. Do you know what they are saying? Even that act of stupidity is also a language. God, I don't trust you enough to depend on you. Mm. Esther said if I perish, I perish. So when you see the sovereignty of God, quarter to shame, he steps in for you. It's a language. He's saying, I am that mighty. And as a result, hand over everything. You know, 
my concept of born again is not that you recited um, the Lord's prayer salvation prayer reciting salvation prayer for me is not born again enough you are born again when I look at your life experientially and I see the influence of the government of the kingdom in every aspect of your life you give God academics and leave finances you are not born again you are a rebel in that area do you know Satan only attacks the area that is not covered by the kingdom of God he cannot attack an area that is covered by the kingdom of God because you are numb to it your job is to apply the principles of the kingdom and leave God with the responsibility of manifesting his word our fears our insecurities make us to come out of alignment so when Jesus came his message was repent go back you've trusted God concerning every other thing when you thought the carryover will come you saw it change now for job you are trying to maneuver your ways there is somebody somewhere and you keep disturbing him hundred missed calls his foolishness is a sign that you do not depend on God tonight I'm encouraging you by the miracles that God will do in this place he's speaking to you and saying can you not see that my life your life is safer with me than it is with you are we together protection people are afraid of dying listen the world is so vulnerable you don't have to be outside to die people have sat down inside about to take the first spoon of food and they collapsed and died mysteriously there are arrows that fly by day you can only rebuke the ones you know what of the ones you don't know the safest place to be is under the bible says he that dwells in the secret place of the most high it says shall abide under the shadow of his wings like a hen covers the children a hen may, you can slaughter chicken but not when children are under it you can catch it when he's roaming around but when a real responsible hen has the children under it you come near there you lose your eyes for it have you seen a chicken that violent yeah so god is a merciful god to you but wait and see what he is to those who want to trouble you that's why the psalmist said how he said many are they that trouble me many are they that says where is your help he said but thou O lord you are a what shield first God will shield you so that you calm down and then now turn and deal with anybody who is cursing him in your life. That's what will happen to somebody. I'm not motivating you. Believe me. If you believe in God and you believe in miracles, most people who believe in miracles have not settled down to discern what they mean. So all of a sudden, if in a few minutes now, the pain suddenly disappears you don't just go back saying wow this this koinonia is powerful no you have experienced the miracle but you are not blessed by it because you have not discerned the language that comes from it if god suddenly by tomorrow someone calls you and gives you a land opens up a door for you untold wealth within one week if you just get excited and say finally i am rich you have experienced the miracle but you have not discerned it you must know that god is speaking there and saying it is my might that one is not love you are seeing that one is my might i can compress time and bring your desire of one year to one week can you depend on me that's why you see most people pastor jakes don't discern miracles that's why they keep receiving miracles and their spiritual life keeps going down because they are receiving miracles and not discerning from it i have learned from every dealing in, of god in my life a dimension of him like mike said it so powerfully there are names god wants you to know not the ones you've read in the bible he uses miracles to write his names upon your life so that by the time you are 30 years you are 40 years you have known certain names of god enough for you to build a foundation so that no nonsense will just come around and shake you if you have been born again for a while and you shake and fidget over everything there are some names of god you don't know are we together listen if by the grace of god let me just give you an analogy for many years we have been transporting people the bus services so you know by experience and by revelation 
that we are kind-hearted and we love you is that true now if on your way coming for koinonia sir somebody quickly rumors to you and says after service this night the way i've been feeling or oh, apostle told me or oh, i had a vision or oh, i had a dream that we are not going to use boss this night the experience you have had with me will make you to trivialize that nonsense so when satan speaks and you pay attention it's because there is something about god you don't know so he will look at you and say hey, you better just be laying hands on your stomach because barrenness for sure is your own you are seeing it with everybody and at first you say no it's not my portion and then every day your whole prayer time you are laying hands on your and say oh god no i can't be barren i can't be barren it's no longer prayer you are only spiritualizing unbelief that one is not prayer again Do you know there are many things we call prayer that is not prayer that you are using prayer language does not mean it's prayer it's simply a spiritual way of communicating unbelief that's why it doesn't get answered to you you are consoling yourself but when it rises up is you are not asking god for anything you think you are asking oh god are you not the one who said this in the realm of the spirit what you are saying is god mercy i'm afraid so the only thing you get back is is mercy not answer because you thought you were requesting but God is listening to the voice of your spirit. You are, you, are ramp, you are wrapping scriptures just to vent fear. And God is saying, if you trusted me, you would have been quiet by now. Imagine that you are still praying for this chair to hold you by now. Pastor Alpha and Mike, you are just moving and then later I tap us out and say, ah, you stop praying, let's pray. Shabaladaba. Lord, in the name of Jesus, gravity is still working. I, I know this. Is that, is that, are you, are you a, an intelligent physics student? No. That, there is a level to which we understand but there is a level to which it's unbelief and somebody will now ask you and say what you need is not prayer what you need is revelation and an encounter an experience that makes this real so someone will say jump up and match it when you match it and it does not fall do you know sometimes God does not call, cause trouble but he gives you strength by exposing you to your fears and then you find out that they didn't do you anything you thought you will die but you are still standing and so you laugh at what made you cry yesterday that's how we grow in the spirit doctor's report said two weeks you are still five years and you've not taken panadol they said this hepatitis is, is just at best oh if you reach 21 glory to god you are now 45. you were not thinking about it you have you reached 45 because you forgot about it now that you have started remembering you are wondering whether you reach 48 you will reach even 100 see i have constructed my belief system such that believe me when i tell you there are some things that cannot enter my mind again if i pray with you you'll be very frustrated because while you are rapping and ranting requests and say oh god baba this and that and that there are certain things you know about god that gives you rest that's why i say come on to me you have been moving you are going on to anybody you are moving he said come on to me all ye that are weary what wearied you running around like a roaring lion that's the spirit of satan that makes people god he, listen listen is satan that moves around like a roaring lion god only moves his eyes not his body the bible said the eyes of the lord run it to and fro satan has to physically run up and down and you are down joining him So he said come on to me this running around has worried you i will give you rest have you seen somebody rest when you say rest in peace is the person moving around have you seen somebody dancing and you're about to bury him you are wicked you bury people who are quiet be still stillness stability in the spirit is a great sign of faith turn and prophesy to someone and say be still Say you're running around will not bring you the, the problem the answer. Say it, say be still. Your phone calls. Go, say it, your phone calls, text messages, and running around will not bring you the answer. Be still. Your lack of sleep continue will not bring you the answer. Discussing your problems with everybody will not bring you the answer beating your wife whether you are married or not say it say beating your husband too 
will not solve the problem harassing your children will not solve the problem committing suicide will take you to hell look do you know people who claim they don't have energy i'm surprised that they are wasting the remaining one doing useless things instead of them to go to the presence of god and die there and say lord this thing whether or not it is answered i'm already in trouble there's no other trouble to enter so let me stay in your presence and die there there is a way you put pressure on the integrity of god when he knows he's the last card truly in your life you'll be surprised to see what he will do many of us have options you must follow him he said if you will not believe me believe me for the work's sake believe that i am my father and we are one there is a oneness in us i handed responsibility to my father and i submitted to his authority it gave me rest brothers and sisters any miracle that does not draw you closer to jesus listen even if that miracle was produced by the power of god if it does not draw you closer to jesus you have not really received the real miracle you have received the experience but you have not descended to make you grow i am surprised that the more people receive miracles they now run away from god when zacchaeus had a miracle he dropped down from the tree gave up his his um tax collecting work and immediately walked with jesus when peter saw the miracle of the fish he said go away from me i'm a sinner and jesus said no come 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 and sit down let's eat together miracles draw people you are a drunkard you don't spend one hour without taking a bottle of of gulda you have been sitting here for hours now the urge is not there that's a miracle the miracle is not so that immediately after koinonia you quickly go back and take one more before you sleep you have frustrated the grace of god you know let me tell you something by god's grace i believe in miracles but i also believe the message that miracles give we don't discern the languages we only gyrate in the experiences that's why satan corrupts when a native doctor gives you a miracle he, he attaches a message to it he says by this miracle know that this small thing this horn you are seeing is powerful and when you receive that miracle you will go back to the man again there is nobody who runs away from result when you receive results in an area you stay there if the result is consistent you camp there so that you visit god's presence receive a miracle and run away and only go back now that you have acknowledged that he's the only one who can produce the miracle stay there tell your neighbor stay with god please prophesy say stay with god there are people here as they are saying stay with god the holy ghost is speaking to you because i don't care whether you are born again or not the kingdom is not a priority to you you probably just came here because the sickness or the challenge or the bills or whatever is eating you up yes god will touch you but if all you get tonight is prophecy so that you can build a house you have not descended miracles genuine miracles produced by the spirit should draw men to god so when you see the favor it brings tears in your eyes and you say lord i will walk with you forever i've tried every other thing but i've settled with you say amen the last message that miracles produce there are many more but let me just stop here oh scripture for the third point john 10 30 to 38 just write it and you go and read it later our time is gone john 10 30 to 38 the next point what god is saying tonight and what he will say always with genuine miracles listen this is what he's saying my servant is my representative he represents my voice to you hear him the last message that miracles produce is that god is speaking to you that if i can come to you and prophesy to you if you can get healed if you can get blessed god is saying something he's saying the man you are seeing 
the ministry you are part of are a representation of my program on earth here and now so have the confidence to not just listen to me listen to them miracles are a language that demonstrate that the man speaking to you the one with whom God will use to produce the miracles I know people say in meetings we have not come to see any man we came to see Jesus that's true but listen to what father Abraham told Lazarus he said they have he said let somebody come you know return from the grave and he said no they have the law and the prophets they should listen to them in other words there are people that represent what the out of body experience would have given them listen to them a man who can tap from an unseen realm and bring an anointing to touch your life it will be stupid for you to believe that he's not at, in touch with God so if he tells you Jesus Christ wants a relationship with you and you don't listen to that one you have not discerned the miracle are we together now if I come and stand on stage here and I'm just standing and you are falling and shouting and receiving an impartation that is a message it's not just it's not about really about a man but it's the fact that God is speaking and he has found a vessel he's speaking with so you listen to the man speak as though you are listening to God forget about the imperfections that will come you are not alone the Holy Ghost is there to see through it what if I listen to everything and I fail no. how did they write the Bible How did they write the Bible? All kinds of people wrote the Bible. Temperous people. Bad people. But in the midst of it, the purposes of God were still preserved. Holy men wrote. Regardless of their imperfections. Let me tell you. There is a degree to which no matter how much flesh you have, God will veto it to make sure certain things will pass to his people with the level of purity that they need. Whether it is intellectual limitation, hear me. Whether it is spiritual limitation that is why a donkey can talk do you know what it takes for a donkey to learn english when men of god pray for utterance utterance is not oratory utterance is the ability of the holy spirit to superimpose your flesh and grant that your communication be full of light that it be accurate and with minimal if any corruption as it gets into the heart of the receptors that's utterance utterance is not the ability to speak english that's oratory utterance is a spiritual thing the capacity to communicate realities such that regardless the spiritual level of the listeners they will receive that one you have to pray for it you go to school to get oratory but you stay with the spirit to get utterance hallelujah Hebrews chapter 2 when you read from verse 4 the Bible talks about the man Jesus he said he was approved Hebrews 2 verse 4 can you give it to us quickly God also bearing witness he talked about the man Jesus and how that he appeared unto certain people and those people now haven't commissioned them to go and represent him the Bible says God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will so God confirmed their word you may doubt their English but you may not doubt the result the same way some of you will not doubt what you are about to experience you know I watch people receive miracles and sometimes I know even them they don't agree have you seen somebody falling under the anointing and he's shocked as he's going down what's happening to me but he's still going down anyway that's the same way your life will change you will sit down and not know what is happening to you you will just walk out of this place and my god like the chains of peter fell you will see chains just fall and leave you it says god bearing them witness so what are miracles instruments of witness god validates the fact that this person is my servant listen to him he has been approved like you have navdak registration number on water now there are those who produce water at the back of their house and don't have navdak registration number when they catch them you find them whether they are sincere or not they were not approved 
We're about to pray. Isaiah 44, verse 25 and 26. Two scriptures, and then we'll begin to pray. That staring is happening again. Isaiah 44, 25 to 26. Listen, talking about God now. The God that frustrated the tokens of the liars and make it divine as mad. The Bible says he turned wise men backward and makes their knowledge foolish. Listen to what he does, 26. That's what he does to them, but this is what he does to his servant. That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. What is the confirmation of the word? You are blessed. If it happens, it's a confirmation. What is performing the counsel? Be healed. And immediately you are healed. That's a performance. That's creation. Like a woman is in, her, her father is in Adamawa. And she's here in Zaria. And a word comes. And all of a sudden she goes back. And the man who had an accident now is walking. He performed the counsel. So if there is no proof in your life among the many variables you have to check is whether you are approved they no 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 you can be a servant of god but not yet be approved being called does not ever mean being approved approved mean you are being released to begin to dispense the realities of the kingdom many people think the opposite of being approved is being fake no the opposite of being approved is being real but unapproved there are many unapproved genuine servants of God unapproved genuine servants of God in ministry for many years as Isaiah he was prophesying but he was not approved 6 verse 1 in the year that King Uzziah died Isaiah saw the Lord a call was taken and given to him is that true he said here am I send me God didn't say I'm already sending you that was when his ministry started you can be doing a lot of things the opposite of being approved get this the opposite of being approved is not being fake fake is in another category you can be real yet not accredited like you are a student but you don't have a certificate yet you are in school you are intelligent you may even be on IT you may even be doing projects but it doesn't make you a graduate there is a certificate do you have it many people just stand and say the bible says this sign shall follow i am a believer be healed we keep mocking ourselves with nonsense because when you read the bible intellectually you will get not head sophia human wisdom you must read it of the spirit tarry in jerusalem he had told them many times do you know before he said tarry ye he had sent them one time he said go two by two what happened to the power that is now saying tarry until ye be endued what happened to the power that they came back blind i saw he gave them his name they were not yet approved they only went in his name that's why i said don't rejoice that miracles you didn't do anything there if i tell you the dynamics of the result you didn't participate the most important thing is that you must be a part of this family your names being written in heaven approved when you are approved it's like a register in the realm of the spirit so when god is paying approved servants you receive your share you are not receiving salary find out whether you are employed that's why the bible says those he called he glory he, um, those he predestined he called but he has not glorified them yet those he called after a season of building he now glorified them if a man will punch himself that man will be a vessel unto honor he can stop there as a vessel unto honor comma meat for the master's use believe me many approved singers not mistrels in the spirit they sing and twist their tongue and they think the secret is in minor songs Help and you sing all kinds of minor songs you think the secret is in clashing cymbal because Joshua Selman is doing it. You harass every drummer to clash every cymbal. No, show me the certificate. Let no one trouble me, Paul says, for I bear. There is a badge. 
demon said jesus i know we see his certificate a man approved of god approved of god approved of god paul the apostle was approved of god let me tell you every true servant of god who has worked with god and has a dealing with god is approved and when he's approved immediately whether you are called into the ministry of helps there must be a sign from heaven when jesus was born he was approved of god there was a sign a star arose on the day of pentecost that experience was approved of god there was a sign every time there is approval there is there is a sign where is your own it could mean you are not even in the school completely or you can be in the kingdom and not be in the school of the spirit there are two different things like there are people in abu some are selling rice some are, are some have some some are selling um things you are inside abu but you are not in any faculty so you can be in the kingdom but not in the school of the spirit only those in the school of the spirit access power and command the grace that will keep nations still i'd like you to pray one minute and say lord i'm in your school oh nothing is taking me out of there i'm not only in the kingdom i'm in the school of the spirit the place where men are made with power the place where men access the presence of god superior dimensions of spiritual reality pray in one minute thank you father for being in the kingdom i gave my heart to you and i'm there but lord i walk with you consciously in obedience he that endures to the end he shall be given a crown and a white stone there are rewards not everything in the kingdom is a gift brothers and sisters there are rewards that's why there are diversities of results if there are no rewards everything will be possible for everybody at the same time because the lord is rich unto all why are there disparity in results is disparities of trainings just like you have a professor you have a master's holder you have an undergraduate you have a secondary school certificate holder different seasons that provide different accesses to graces lift your voice and pray hallelujah second corinthians will rise up to begin to pray now god will do a quick walk second corinthians 12 verse 12. by this little teaching i I'd like you to desire more in god more in god greater grace a time will come your talk will weary people they'll be tired of you when you speak and there are results your words become heavy they look like the word of god second corinthians 12 12. paul was speaking about his credentials you used to know me as a scribe but i had an encounter i was in the wilderness of arabia for over 19 years he was in the kingdom but he was in the wilderness of arabia after 19 solid years of stringent building with the lord a testament came truly the signs of an apostle there are signs called the signs of an apostle the sign is not the name i am apostle jeffrey i am apostle joshua selman no i am pastor this i am reverend this the word apostle there does not just mean apostle like an office the sign of an approved and a sent one when Navdak approves something, no matter what the drink is, there is something they stamp there. No matter what it is, check somewhere. Even if there's no space, they create space and stamp it. It is based on this, brothers and sisters, that we can gather people like this by grace and say, come. This is not the issue of my personal faith. This is the issue of a Navdak number. Koinonia is registered. This is like you have jam center. There is jam center that is for crooks. When people go there, they don't even write exams. Is that true? You pay money, but there's what they call, uh, what they call it, approved centers. 
when you go there you sit down there are tables they have gone through a, tra a training by the grace of God by the election of grace and by our determination to take advantage of it truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you all in what was the first thing the first sign is not miracles the patience to endure till you access it the first sign of an apostle a saint one is not signs and wonders many foolish people deceive themselves the first sign is patience for many years you will walk with God and not see one result the first sign is patience you will prophesy nothing will happen you will pray for the sick nothing will happen but you are still in the school so patience then in signs notice the progression signs trickles then it now moves to the next realm wonders then the apex of your apostolic ministry is called mighty works that one is not personal miracle that is territories elijah stands and said there shall be no rain look at the progressions these four levels if you don't enter this level in ministry you will never be fulfilled there are people this where they are patience 10 years they will not move others signs here and there somebody is testifying you you are let me tell you how you know it's a sign you are not even sure whether it came from you they just say pastor prayed for me and sincerely you cannot tell when there is no predictability a sign shows direction that's not it if you see a sign to abu that sign is not abu it's pointing you there wonders a realm of predictable results you begin to see certain things and then before you reach the apex he called it mighty works the only other person that title was used for was jesus he said what wisdom is this that such mighty works were wrought this is where we are going where you shift systems so don't just say i'm born again i will enter here you are joking it's the same way saying i have admission i'm a first class student they gave you admission you walk your way to first class the options are there he gave unto one five two one according to their several ability not his desire for them several things will be happening tonight brothers and sisters i want you to trust three things tonight as we pray one listen 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 number one believe in your faith in god and god's faith in you two listen believe in the covenant that we have with god i told you that our work with god is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant there are covenants that men have with god let me tell you listen i can take one bottle of beer here and come up and minister i will minister by the covenant my relationship with god is something he will deal with me with later on but as far as the covenant of using my life my grace and koinonia to minister not even me can stop it that's why when elijah died the covenant was still on his bones elisha his bones still raised the dead because the grace on him was authorized to do that not whether he was living or dead that's the basis of man to transfer that's the correct basis of man to transfer that when you touch a man or shake a man you are going not with a material you are carrying a covenant to your home god stops dealing with you now based on you it is on that basis we can say the god of this when you say the god of isaac there's something about god and isaac that makes him hear you the god of jacob there's another thing i don't encourage people to say the god of joshua selman and this but brothers and sisters there are covenants there are men god entered a covenant with them like joshua no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life he didn't say where you do well that's the covenant this house you see is a mystery of covenants covenants here and there that's the reason why we make certain bold claims i truly believe that if all i use is just my personal faith i will be afraid i have eyes i'm a human being you can see cases that you know are impossible but there are higher dimensions rise up on your feet let's pray i've convinced you enough to believe that you can walk out of here free
please lift your voice and in one minute blast in tongues pray in the spirit lord i believe that by these two immutable things it is impossible for god to lie Are you praying? For surely the signs of an apostle were what were wrought in patience and signs and wonders and mighty works. Listen, in one minute, please, young old, just walk with this instruction mention clearly the issue of concern and say father visit it don't just say god bless me that's not a very wise statement be very exact he said give us this day lift your voice and pray in one minute please pray passionately want to see you pray we want to hear from you Emmanuel Emmanuel we want to see you we want to hear from you to be broken burdens are about to be lifted families are about to rise pray Emmanuel Emmanuel we want to see hello in Madonna such grace in this place such grace listen listen there are spirits you've heard me say it that tie down men there are spirits that tie down destinies there are spirits that tie down families and are responsible for the predicament of people when you come into the presence of God like this, some of you are lovely, innocent people. You love God with all your heart. But certain things are not going well with your life. Those spirits must give way. There is an anointing. Don't be afraid. Don't ask whether it will happen. It's not just your personal faith. You have believed God. That's all right. Leave the rest to Him. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you. I pray, oh God, take my prayer. 
Will you take my breaks? Take my breaks. It's calling you. All right. We're ready. Let's go. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That every spirit and every force, my God, I see so many people, so many people who will be delivered. So many people who will be delivered. I want you to bring them out. The anointing is here. It has come. Lift your voice. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus, inside and outside. I come against every spell, every enchantment by the power that is in the name of Jesus that as God's people shout in the name that is above all names let every dragon crumble are you ready now at the count of three one two three shake it, take it, take it, take it. my God charms 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 I'm seeing charms I'm hearing in my spirit charms bring them out charms charms divination instruments of wickedness divination I curse you Katokata. outside the angel of his presence outside sweeping like rain that view divination instruments of wickedness I command you to leave I command you to leave this is a place of his power lift your hands my god my god my god listen I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit. This thing that they count. There's this thing that they count one by one. In the name of Jesus, that's what I'm seeing. And the Lord is telling me that there are instruments of divination. People are about to be set free now. Lord, I don't know where they are, but like fire is visiting at least 21 people inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, let it go. I release that fire now. Help them right now. Right now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, no devil will stand it. I assure you, no devil will stand it. Whether you are inside or outside, there is grace to set you free. I command divination. I command yokes. Broken. Lift your hands and pray. I'm seeing a number in the spirit 74, and the Lord is telling me that's the number of people that must be delivered from the spirit of delay. Lift your voice. This delay is a wicked spirit. I want to pray. You may not know you belong to that category. Is the anointing that will fish you out. Guys, be sensitive, please, please. In the name of Jesus, 74 people, Lord, wherever they are, I stretch my hands right now. The spirit of delay at the count of three. I'd like you to shout, Jesus, one, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. The cause of delay. The spell of delay. So take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take Those outside, only those outside, lift your hands. The Lord is directing me. Those outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. First overflow, second overflow, and online. There are certain people that will be picked by angels. Strong delay spirit outside. In the name of Jesus, are you ready? Just those outside. One, two, three. Command that spirit. There's fire outside. He must go now. He must go now. Leave that sister. Leave our destiny. Hallelujah. Faith. 
faith f-a-i-t-h faith who is faith i'm hearing a name faith are you faith hold on hold on don't match the people here please faith this person is outside it's a small girl she's wearing a white something white like white is there someone like that come what's your name this is the girl i saw in the spirit i'll pray for you come what's your name faith. your name is faith come where are you from let's hurry up please if i mention your case i don't have to mention every case don't worry our time is constrained we wanted to make it a vigil but we are off to lagos tomorrow just faith let them come are you an usher usher lift your hands you are the first person to receive the miracle that i'm praying for i'm looking at you and i'm not seeing an usher god is saying he's visiting your family right now receive that grace now right now let that devil leave our family go delay out of our family after that you can do your ushering work look at me my dear where are your parents huh where is home where do you stay you are faith too huh let me pray for you hold my hands it's not just you i'm praying for look at me i want to pray for your family your family is being greatly oppressed huh go and tell your parents that a man of god prayed for them i'm seeing a family that came from abuja that's what the lord is showing me abuja not just a person like a family that came from abuja father in the name of jesus let there be a miracle supernatural miracle miracle all of you your names are faith hold on please hold your hands together um so that we can save time we still have sick people to pray for we are going to be very fast it won't take long i want us to finish very fast tonight all the faiths i'm going to pray your name is faith too usha you are not sure you're a worker you will receive your own differently lift your hands the lord is saying i should tell you he's giving you beauty 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 in the name of jesus beauty all the faiths i'll just lay hands on one person as a point of contact to you father i don't know why they are out but may the anointing flow from this one lady right now to every one of them right now right to all of you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ so that we will save time by the power of the holy spirit i see a family from abuja where are you please let me speak to you from abuja clap for jesus as they come quickly please hold on who is sick who is sick who is sick chest. your chest has a problem yes you sleep in the night yes. and you feel as if there's something on it yes this is witchcraft yes but someone else is sick i'm saying where are you from abuja all of abuja, you yes. hold on yes all of you yes i didn't say if you are from abuja please you are a family from abuja hold on hold on if they are here don't push them let's be gentle on them why is he there okay no you don't have to those under the anointing listen listen when people are under the anointing especially for deliverance there's a reason why they are out don't just lift them and push them you can shift them there's a reason why we ask them to come out it's not to show they are falling you already saw them fall there yeah. you are the one from abuja lay your yes. hands come let me lay my hands on you you are scattered you are all the same family all of you the ones at the back are you the same family you are on your own you would have sat down there my brother my sister two of you you are together i will pray for you what do you want god to do for you please we don't have time if you are not sure i'll just keep you aside so that we can deal with it. i need employment employment yes, sir. I need a job. you love yes, god job. yes sir huh? yes sir seriously yes sir what of you i want to follow my education sir see it's not everybody i'm just speaking on behalf of your family we don't have all the time I have to pray for you my brother huh? god will heal you and then for you what's wrong yes, diabetes, that, i said there's somebody sick you heard me say there's somebody sick he's, one sick. he's having chest pain but this one live chest pain chest pain is not this this one is witchcraft it's not sickness this 
we have to pray huh? I'm looking at this and I'm seeing these things that doctors used to check organs of people I'm seeing that he has a wound he has a wound inside and the wound is not healing we have to pray father heal that in Jesus name lift your hands I'll just lay my hands on you very quickly my major focus is to pray for the sick that breakthrough we can prophesy that one but I, I want to pray for the sick right now in the name of Jesus be healed my brother your chest completely. you go and get a job in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God bless you it's done go back to your seat please come quickly let me pray for you it's done I pray for you why are you here Huh? I said, I'm here that God should set me loose. God should what? Set me loose from everything. Set you loose. Yes. Distraction. You are distracted. One, two, you are very disorganized. Look at me. Your major problem is not demonic. You are very scattered and disorganized. You need your life to get some level of order. Lift your hands. And you, you want to do ministry. You, you don't need, you, you heard me say approved, right? You settle down. You don't just run around. If you are disorganized, you will not get results. Father, grant him grace supernatural grace something is leaving you and something else is coming into you that thing that must leave you go now in the name of jesus christ and i release an anointing upon you by the power of the holy spirit yes please why are they here your children come what's are they sick what's wrong with them this one has heart problem, heart problem. Yes. oh my god and this one has breathing. breathing problem they are all your children yeah. They are all your children. Hold them. It's you I should pray for, not them. The, the children are just reacting to something. I have to pray for you. Eh? Things are not going on well. Where's your husband? He's abroad. He's abroad. How long has he been there? Getting to here. What I want to tell you, eh? It's not something I will say in the open. Are you hearing me? But... Uh, I pray for the grace of God. That's, that's all I'll say for now. Yeah? And I'll pray for you because, you see, any success... No, let's hold my hands. Let's pray. Why are you holding our hands? You are a sister. I'll pray for you. Huh? You want to marry and what again? Are you married? Uh -huh. Marriage is one. What's the second prayer point? Job. What's the third one? Financial victory. These are the three things I brought you here. There's one more. There are four. Ministry. Ministry. So there are four. I'm seeing it like that. That's why I'm telling you. Did you show me? Did you tell me? That's what I'm telling you. Marriage is number one. Then job, finance, and then you have the call of God. You're a woman of prayer and God shows you dreams. Is that true? Where's the mic? Yes, sir. God shows you dreams. Yes, and you are wondering. You don't know whether you should wait for your husband or start ministry now because that's your fear you see the anointing is on her that's your fear you don't know whether you should start something now or you should wait for the man god will send into your life and it's because you're a nice lady you don't want to do anything that looks antagonistic to his ministry this is i'm hearing you discuss with a friend huh and that's so god is going to solve that problem for you but you let's pray hold my hands father what god has joined together the Bible says, let no man, whether whoever, man also includes woman. Man doesn't just mean a male figure. Man includes man plus every Jezebel that represents a system. And I'm using, I'm not saying your husband, are you getting me now? This is not something I will say here. I want to prophesy. Any marriage, any couple that are married now, and there's anybody looming around, to reap where you did not sow in the name of Jesus we scatter that nonsense right now you will hear testimonies from this thing I just this little prayer has delivered somebody right now father let there be miracles the spirit of infirmity I command it to live your life now in the name of Jesus bring the children please where's the one with the heart problem uh, okay, look at this adorable baby. Heart problem. Heart. What did they tell you? He said there is a swelling. A, a swelling, swelling in his heart. Chest. Hold it for me. It must go down. 
because this baby now will not grow well how many of you know that the baby will not grow well you may not know what is wrong until he grows then certain things that should happen to other people will not happen to him i know a lady that i prayed for she doesn't have a womb i'm not saying it's not developed completely no womb like that usually it's these kinds of things um you know at the point of conception several things happen jesus in the name that is above all names i pray in the presence of your people this is why you sent me by the power of the holy spirit let this heart become normal now you see it you see what is happening i told you is the mother that should be prayed for i'm praying for him and see the person falling under the anointing because that's where it came from it returns to hell now i can't hold this one it's big in the name of jesus supernatural miracle see the anointing is on her too somebody come and hold her please hold her hold her god is healing the baby and healing her too. two of them hold her the anointing is on her god has removed something from your family related to this there's something you would have suffered that is related to this thing you are an usher while you held him that's why the anointing touched him in the name of the lord jesus christ i want to prophesy on two people they will come under the anointing now please bring them out just two people right here indoors there's an anointing that is coming on two people right now thank you jesus the, the lord is just giving a word we're going to pray for the sick now two people you can't stand it it's like fire to come on you please bring them august is it augusta augusta august augusta or august something that looks august something a name augusta or augustina or something like that please anybody with that name augustine sir this man come this this fair man come your breakthrough has come there's a lady outside that august something you are outside in the overflow there is another one you are wearing chain chain like uh, this thing they wear is there someone like that not you sir you there's somebody you're wearing i want to pray uh ah. look at you lift your hands look at me shout i avoid trouble shout it i avoid trouble you are speaking english shout it i avoid troubles because i'm seeing the devil planning to really frustrate you december and we have to pray against it and this is something that is is something you are vulnerable to but in the name of jesus no trouble by the power of the holy spirit no trouble in the name of jesus you don't stop them you just guide them in the name of jesus sir i want to pray for you god is about to change your life you are a man look at me sir two things will happen to you i say it in the open you will come and stand here look at me one look at me sir a level of financial breakthrough you have never seen in your amen. life amen amen is what is going to come upon amen. you amen i want you to believe it sir it's not just because maybe uh, i'm talking to you because all of that that's number one number two is that i want to pray for you i'm seeing a thermometer rising up and down your chest this is bp yes, sir. huh yes sir. you have bp yes sir. did you tell me no, sir. i have to pray on it if i don't pray on it you are going to have serious problem because i'm seeing you go to a doctor maybe now or in the future and the doctor is specifically telling you not to eat salt right, salt like completely i don't know what but i think something that has not to do salt so i have to pray for you i'm going to pray for you and any other thing you came here with hold my hands sir, with both of your hands i want you to believe father there is a grace for prosperity receive that grace in the name of jesus is there is an anointing that makes men prosper look at me sir in the name of jesus i release that grace god gave it to me i pray for you again in the name of jesus that mantle and unction that can cause a man to prosper may it come upon your life in the name of jesus christ god bless you sir and bp come sir let the bp be healed now in the name of jesus huh what's your name 
name? Augustine. 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 Augusta. Augusta. Yes. Thank you. Come. You are the one who needs deliverance. I'm going to pray for you. But lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing. Uh, now, this is not death. But I'm seeing. You know how a place has been deserted like a wilderness that's what i'm seeing as i'm looking at you and i have to pray for you because if i don't pray for you are you married huh? no, if i don't pray for you number one you will not get any reasonable man to marry you it's all these foolish men who will loiter around and come and not be serious huh? in the name of jesus for you and your family be set free right now by the power of the holy spirit i open up those doors jane jane Jane, 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 you are a fair woman, looks like an evil lady. You are wearing it like a sleeveless. Jane, sleeveless, something like that. Who is that? Huh? I'm the one. Look at she's surprised. You think I'm a herbalist? I've been talking to people. Why are you looking like um one? The first miracle is there's something in your stomach. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes. Did you tell me? something is biting you physically like a snake it moves down to your breast region and comes down there every day that's the first thing god is going to do stand up number two see she doesn't want to stand up stand up madam mm. ah. kai you are a good woman but you have suffered i have to pray for you somebody came into your life and did something i cannot say in the open you have been crying till now you gave this man everything is that true yeah, right. everything you gave this man he rubbish your life into zero and went away when i was preaching about mercy god was talking to you yes, huh don't worry the man even said you're a fool god will use the foolish things and confound the wild stand up three that man that appears in your dream is going to leave you now stand up this this wicked spirit stand up my dear hold my hands let her go now in the name of jesus christ i love the power of god that person lifting that picture lift it high right now the power of god will touch you lift both of your hands there's anointing coming on you right now that's it your prayer is answered it's done completely the miracle for which you are lifting that picture for completely is gone may your life turn and change like day and night in the name of Jesus I close every door you have opened in your life and I command by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be a miracle for you in the name of Jesus Christ one two three four four months there is someone you're a businessman you've not done anything for four months it's like you are i don't know if it's a project you are doing or you are supposed to do something four months you have been completely grounded i don't know if you are inside or outside please run god wants to pray for you why are they here jane i want to pray for you and then we'll pray for the sick Madam, I finish with you. You can go back rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be breakthrough for you. Let there be breakthrough for you. If I pray for you, please go back. If I don't speak for you, uh, upon you, it just means I'm not hearing anything else. Jane. Your name is Jane? You are the businessman. Lift your hands where you are. Just lift it there. Lift your hands where you are. I said keys were given to people earlier on. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands on you. And everyone who relates to this miracle too, may they receive it. I release an anointing upon you right now. Right now. Everyone who relates to this, in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, you need wisdom, you need strategy, and you need connection. These three things, these are the things you came for. I release upon you grace don't be confused things are about to turn around in your life come you need a helper somebody helped you you did not thank him 
you didn't thank him and this thing has affected you doctor doctor I'm seeing a doctor I don't know if you saw this please come sir I want to speak to you sir sorry I'm having to call you but the Lord is saying I should tell you is going to come very fast go and write it down this is what the Lord is saying I should tell you even me I don't understand what I'm saying but the Lord is saying I should tell you is going to come very fast it will bring three things one envy number two I see your superiors angry with you and the Holy Spirit is ministering to me and he's saying it is because this kind of speed is not common Koinone, I want you to witness this thing and write it you will see it happen so I pray for you Shade, you are a witness to what God is doing to your husband God is going to give him such a dimension of speed sir this will start from now till June 2017 you will see speed that will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ sir do you know why you are stranded only one reason you violated the law of honor the law of honor this is not just witchcraft don't don't act as if you don't need people you always need them for your business to rise huh why am i seeing piles of clothes what do you do I sell clothes. you sell clothes honor is what you have violated hold my hands let your business grow now go and excel in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus what is abba so go to Abba too. you go to Abba yes, sir. to buy clothes there yes, sir. but favor has closed there yes, sir. the person who used to help you something happened between you and him yes, sir. you didn't honor him he was very fair to you huh? yes, let me just tell you the truth that's why I say it's the law of honor yes, sir. after I pray for you he's yes. going to call you Amen. the business will start again Amen. grace for you I'm not revealing I'm making it happen this is not revelation the word will make it happen I place the word of God upon your life and I declare that things will change in Jesus name why are you here what was this project project what are you doing I want to run this school huh you love children huh and you want to teach I'm seeing you doing something with a blackboard huh blackboard yes ah you are strong you want to establish a school that's what I'm seeing nursery school primary school secondary school yes. that's what you want to do who told you it cannot be done huh it can be done you believe that hold my hands go and honor somebody who is already in having a school and god will open that door for you receive that grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now we are going to pray for the sick please listen i want this is the last miracle service for the year i want everybody to receive there will be such a heavy mantle transfer after the prayer i just want us to in the next few minutes to finish here so i want you to please cooperate with us i pray for you you are all blessed in jesus name now please listen all those who are sick in this venue listen please this venue and uh the the overflow by the roadside i want you to just move to the front of your projector the projector screen all of you who are trusting god for a healing miracle no matter how many you are we will pray for you that's why we are here those outside move to your projector screen outside now listen part of those outside can come in not everybody a few of them maybe at the back you can come in then those trusting god for miracles here for you and your loved one now please come up come up quickly come up believing God come up believing God we want to do a thorough work tonight please we want to do a thorough work tonight this is what will happen now those outside is okay for those coming outside um, Pastor Jakes Pastor Jakes will help me handle the one by this pro uh, the projector stand outside and then a Jimmy will go outside please guys let's trust god for grace for people to really get miracles hold on please people need let me just pray with you guys let's let's do a thorough work father grace in the name of jesus let your healing power flow let that healing grace lord in the name of jesus let it work let that healing grace 
be at work let there be results in the name of jesus please come pastor alpha come bring our promise michael come all these hands i will tell you where to in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ grace for you let there be a very thorough results thorough results thorough results thorough results thorough results in the name of jesus thorough results pastor um you are michael please you can go outside and help jakes um benga you and promise you can go outside there with a jimmy please just go outside let's see i'll try to handle the ones here um very very fast we need so many more people by god's grace pastor femi come 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 you are here and you are hiding come come and hold my hands let that anointing come upon your life and then you help me here in the name of the lord jesus christ so he will help me here jesus we release your healing power all over this place listen please for all those who are here please listen by the grace of god and it's not pride god has given we're a healing ministry god has given us grace please be patient we are going to hurry up if i don't mention your case don't worry i'll just lay hands on you i want us to cover grounds as much as possible i would have just prayed for you but that's not the instruction god gave us maybe if the ministry becomes too large we can pray but now i want to lay hands on everyone there are people with cancers there are people with all kinds of things just trust god worship team please just create the atmosphere for us if you are tired maybe the media can play something a worship song so that you rest too especially if you want a healing miracle come lay your hand on your stomach father you heal her in the name of jesus thank you jesus lift your voice if if they are if the worship team if you are tired then the media can play something a worship song let's be very fast please as soon as i lay hands on you i want you to believe god and go back thank you jesus let there be miracles now those of you who are hold on those of you who are seated please i permit you to put on your hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you